created a tackle bait rigging needle, hollow needle, perfect for rigging sword baits. Um, this is how I rig a bait. I haven't used this one before, but we'll give it a go. Want the hook to sit in the top half of the squid. A lot of the time I find when the swords have smacked at a bait, it's, it's halfway or around the halfway mark, and we find that if they hit the hook, sometimes it puts them off going on with the rest of the, uh, the attack on the bait. So we've had a lot of success keeping the hook up high. Um, ideally you use a circle hook if you want to release, but I wouldn't mind eating some swordfish. So I'll just measure it out to where I want the hook to basically be. We'll put this needle in. Feed it up so I can feel it at the very top. Poke it through. Take your tag line. I'll get the other way. Feed that through. And it's that easy. Pull the rest of your leader through. This is obviously Fujiyama from Kev from Predator Tackle. I'm going to try and be as quick as I can because I'm not sure how long a video I can put up on Facebook. But, um, and I'm making a bit of a mess. But you can imagine if you cut here and here to feed your hook through, it's a lot more sewing. Even though this has to go through, which I presume it will quite easily. Look at that. That is just about spot on. Exactly what you want for bait presentation. Sword comes along, hits the bait here. Chops all this off, whatever else. All this is sewn in with your skirt. You've still got a massive lump of meat. And I'll just come in and inhale that. And... Um, We've had a lot of success with with um, converting hits to swords on the on the boat, and I attribute the the bulk of it to this having the hook up high. But um, Kev's little machine here, fantastic. Uh, Predator tackle, get on board with them. Get your Fuji armor, uh, fluorocarbon, not mono, and um, one of these bait rigging needles. I think he's about the only one in Australia that sells these. It's awesome.